They're chewy, they're gooey, and loaded with chocolate. These are bound to be the best brownies you've ever tasted. We're gonna start by preparing our baking tray and we're using an eight by eight baking tray for this. And we're first going to apply some melted butter all around. This is gonna help the parchment paper to stick to the baking tray. And I've just cut two sheets of parchment paper and I'm gonna lay one down this way. Just a little more butter on the top of this paper because we're gonna put another paper the other way. And this is gonna make it easy for us to pull out the brownie once it's ready. There we have our tray all prepped. Now to give our brownies that irresistible chocolatey ooey gooey texture, we're going to be melting and combining together one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and we've got half cup of unsalted butter. So we're gonna pour that together. You could toss this now on a double boiler and melt it slowly together. But for a quick, easy tip, we pop it in the microwave. So we're gonna do that for one minute in 30 second increments and just stir it together. When you take it out of the microwave, you might still feel that the chocolate chips are full, but just keep stirring. It's gonna blend with the hot melted butter. And this is what we're looking for, this lovely, smooth, luscious texture. Now let's keep this aside to cool and we're gonna prepare the sugar and the eggs. So we're going to be using one cup of white granulated sugar and half a cup of packed brown sugar and we're going to press it down so we get a nice packed half cup. This is going to give the brownies a nice chewy texture as also that lovely molasses flavor. Now let's just give this a whisk and combine the two sugars together. To the sugar let's add in three large eggs which are at room temperature. So we're going to crack these in very carefully. Now using a whisk, let's cream this together. And when you get about this consistency, you're good to go. Now that the chocolate and the butter has cooled, we're going to be adding that to the eggs and the sugar. And make sure it's really cooled here because you don't want any chocolate scrambled eggs. Now let's go back in with the whisk and whisk this together until it's well combined. Next, we're gonna put in the ingredient that we love to add when we're baking, and that is pure vanilla extract. And I'm gonna go in with just one teaspoon here. This is just gonna really intensify the flavor in the brownies. And let's give that a final little whisk. To bring our batter together, we're gonna be adding half a cup of all-purpose flour. And you want to aerate the flour first. And then with a spoon, measure it into your measuring cup. This way, you'll get just the right amount of flour into the cup and won't become too dense. And now with a knife or an offset spatula, we're just gonna level that out. And that's half a cup. And we're gonna put it into a sieve. To that, we're gonna add quarter cup of cocoa powder. And again, we're gonna aerate it and then put it into the measuring cup so that we get just the right amount of the cocoa powder. And again, we're gonna level it out. We're going to put this in the sieve again and cocoa powder always has lumps in it so we definitely want to sift it. And to that I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt and just a pinch of baking powder. Now let's sift this into the bowl. Can you see the lumps? So we want to break that down so that we get a nice smooth batter at the end. Using a spatula, we're going to gently fold this into the mixture. Now for a final ingredient that's optional but we love to add for that little crunchy texture within all the gooeyness going on, uh, we're going to go in with one cup of toasted walnuts and these are finely chopped. We're going to add in about three-fourths of it. Just save some for the top. You could also go in with little chocolate chips or mini marshmallows maybe for like a s'more brownie. There's a lot you can do here to customize it. So I'm just gonna fold that into the batter. And we're just gonna mix this really lightly just so that we get the nuts all well distributed throughout the batter. 
Let's pour the batter into the tray. Nudge the batter around in the baking tray so that we get it nice and even. The little walnuts that we had saved, we're going to sprinkle them on the top. And this will let everybody know that we have walnuts inside the brownie too. Let's put this delicious baby to bake in a preheated oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 45 to 50 minutes. And now the best way to know whether our brownie is done is to insert a toothpick and you might find a little sticking. That's just the way we want it. We're going to allow the brownie to cool before we cut it and enjoy it. Let's take the brownie out of the baking tray and you'll see that because we lined it, it's so easy to take it out of the tray. Here's a tip to get a nice clean cut. You've got some hot water in a glass and we're going to dip our knife into the hot water, take it out and give it a wipe. Now our knife is nice and warm and with that we're going to cut the brownie. It's all gooey inside so it's stuck to the knife so we're going to dip it once more into the warm water and then with our tissue wipe it off. Now we're going to go in for the second cut. We want nice big bits and look at that. Enjoy these brownies warm on their own or with a scoop of vanilla ice cream for that classic dessert. And before we go, if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And if you hit on the bell icon, you'll get a notification every time we upload new videos. And follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. All the information is in the description box below. Thanks for watching. See ya.